Now to create this into an electrical part that SOLIDWORKS Electric can use, we're going to go to the SOLIDWORKS Electrical menu and left click on Electrical Component Wizard. First thing that I will ask us is to define all the faces of the component. This is, um, we have to do this because we are going to place this into a control box on a rail and um, SOLIDWORKS will automatically orientate the part to the correct orientation. So it needs to know those faces. So left face, select the right face, the top face, and the bottom face. And click on OK once we've done that. Now go ahead and click Next. Um, here we create the made references. So we want, if we insert that part, we want it to be automatically connected to a rail. So we're going to use this top rail reference over here. There is another reference that we can create, which is a back reference. Um, this is particularly handy when you create or when you have an auxiliary part that just connects to an existing contactor or relay. Um, we only have to define one phase over here. And we can create also a door reference, which is handy for lights or push buttons or anything like that. Now we're going to create this rail reference. Uh, we need to select two faces. The first one will be a top face. So that this is the top face that's going to be connected to the rail. And this is my face that's going to connect to the front of the rail. Now, once those mate references are set up, we can click on OK and click Next. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create connection points or C points. So for you guys that have done routing, um, we do need these points here so that SOLIDWORKS knows what wire um, or cable needs to be connected to that point. Now, we can simply just create them by creating a connection point over here. Um, but because I've already created a part in my last week's video, we're going to use create connection point by reference. If we select create connection point by reference, we can actually select the manufacturer part. And what this does is it will automatically know how many terminals we need because we've already specified the number of terminals with their circuit description in um, last week's video. So left click on select manufacturer's part. I'm just waiting until it loaded all the libraries and I'm simply going to go to my own user library and single click here on this part that we've created. Now this is what I mean. We have already the circuits defined. So we know exactly, okay, these are all the points that we need to connect to this 3D part. There's a little tri trick that we can do here. So select the top one, hold the shift key on your keyboard. So the shift, and then while holding the shift key, you left click on the bottom one, and that will select the whole row. Now next, we're going to select the reference point or the sketch points. And those are the points that belong to those terminals. Okay, so it's very important that you select the correct terminal here. So A1, I know by heart that is going to be this one over there. Now, if you don't know it or forgot about it, you can actually get your PDF again. And if I zoom in a bit more, I can actually see that A1 is here at the front and on the top right and A2 is at the front and on the bottom right. So we can actually just use them, use this PDF as a reference. So here we go, select the sketch point. So this is going to be A1 is up here. A2 is down the bottom. Now we have our normally open power contact. So that's that one there. L2. L2 here. T2. And now T L3. T3. And then our normally open and normally closed contacts. That one. And the last one, so it's a fair bit of rotating here, but once we've selected them all, you can see all the points are connected. We're going to simply click on OK. And as SOLIDWORKS will automatically add these C points to the points that we've created. So I'm not doing anything here, I just have to wait and let SOLIDWORKS do its magic. Um, so once those C points are created, we can then just simply add them to the control box or our cabinet 
and um, the electrical routing will take care of the rest because we've got a 2D schematic that defines what wire is going to be connected to what component and the outer routing will actually automatically connect those wires to the correct part because now we gave them the circuit description and terminal information and where they go in my 3D part. So you can simply click OK and click here on the cancel one. Now, next thing that it asks me here is um, to finish this off. So I'm going to click finish. And we're pretty much done. So next thing, next step is to save this part out. So I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. I'm going to go save, rebuild and save. Now, what we can do is if you want to use this, you can actually go to file, save as and save a copy in your SolidWorks electrical um, directory which is located under the this is the default location so it's c program data saltworks electrical actually it should be saltworks electrical data is that one there saltworks electrical and then the part saltworks Spot. So here are all the default parts that SolidWorks Electrical um, creates or when you install that. Okay, so same thing over here. If you want to create a lot of your own references, make sure you save that somewhere else, but you can just save that over here. So let's just Go ahead and I'm not going to save this anymore. I'm just going to close this. Close my file over here. Now I can go back to my SolidWorks Electrical Library. Left click on Manufacturer Parts Manager. Go to my library. Search for my part. Uh, we don't need black boxes. Double click to open. And we now can simply select that 3d part that we had by double clicking here and as you can see you go to the correct directory where you've saved that out select it and click on open so now every time we place this part in my schematic and we go to the 3d environment it will automatically have this part associated to that now that's it for this week's um, electrical video. Thanks for watching guys and see you all next week.